Ferrari cost 600,000, stop playing with me. Hunnids with the blue faces, feeling nipsy. Louis V briefcases, getting tipsy. Keep it with me, it's a murder if a nigga tempt me. The streets talking, you niggas know what it do. With some money, I could never imagine you. I be ducked off, I ain't got nothing to prove. I'm in Malibu with a nigga fool. 400. What's the deal? Y'all already know what's going on the 400 podcast. Y'all like family. Welcome back. And y'all know we don't do no regular shit on this show. Today, it's my pleasure, man. It's my pleasure for sure. We have no other boxer this great at this weight class. We got to say it. Numbers don't lie. The numbers do not lie. WBC, junior welterweight champion, undefeated, 31 and 0, 15 knockouts. Your ass is going to bed. Two <laughs> divisional champion and the youngest undisputed world champion, Devin Haney, a.k.a. somebody going to sleep. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> Thank you all for having me. How you feeling, me. man? I'm amazing. I'm, I'm, Looking ha- good. I'm happy to be here. Looking good? Yes, sir. I'm my nigga got that shit on. Yes, sir. Looking always, shame. always. Hello? What you got on, man? Fuck that. What you got on? Shit, I don't even know what this is. Just some, just some fly shit, some Bottega boots, some ice. Drill. Rick, some Rick glasses. I don't know. I just be wearing what I like for real. You pick your own shit out or somebody going and just grabbing a bunch of shit and you putting the pieces together? Yeah, more like that. Mm, okay. So you a nigga that ain't just letting nobody put no clothes on your body. Yeah, no. Nah, I mean, I like I like what I like, so I don't be just letting, like, I don't have no stylist or nothing like that, but. I, I like that, too, because I, I ain't not like no stylist either. He don't like no stylist either. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I you like, got to feel comfortable in what you're yeah. wearing. You know what I'm saying? It's your personality. And, yeah, exactly. exactly. At, at what age did you want to be like, start pursuing boxing? Um, I started boxing when I was seven, but it was because I was fighting a lot in school and I was having like, tr- I was getting in trouble a lot. And um, my dad was like, you want to you wanna fight in school? I'm going to take you to the gym. You're going to get beat up. <laughs> and every time you keep fighting, I'm going to keep, I'm going to, I'm going to bring you to the, um, I'm going to keep bringing you to the gym. And, um, Long story short, I just basically stuck with it. I got, I stopped getting in trouble, and um, I made it a career. Hell yeah, getting Shout paid to fuck, off. man. Getting paid to beat a nigga ass is amazing. Hell yeah. What I used to do. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's what I love to do. We get paid a lot of money to do it, but I mean, it's it's, it's also you know what I'm saying we niggas get beat up in front of the world for right. the world to see. It ain't just like you know, like you play football, you get ran ran over or whatever. You miss a shot in basketball, but. You get knocked the fuck out in boxing, and the world tune in. So, it's 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 some you know it's you got to be special to be able to do it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's niggas like they, be getting turned to memes and shit. Yeah, hey, yeah. and y'all training process is crazy. Yeah, you know what yeah. I'm saying? That shit, yeah. So they say you can play basketball, but you can't play boxing. You cannot play boxing. You understand what I'm and saying? It's like, do you think that hurt people' ego when they get their ass knocked out? <laughs> I mean, I would think so. I would think so. I obviously don't know what that feeling, but um. I would definitely say it hurts your ego. Has somebody ever hit you so hard you feel like you was gonna get knocked out? <laughs> nah, it don't even be like they say knockouts. Like you don't even feel it. You just mm. it's one punch and you sleep. Like it's, you don't really feel it like yeah, that. You ever got like knocked out before? I ain't never got knocked out, but I can tell you this, right? I was in jail and, and I walked in the jail. You know how in the jail they got the cage. I walk mm-hmm. in, boom. They like, where you from? You know how it is in there. Like, where you from? I'm, oh, man, you know, I'm on my shit. In in this particular dorm, they had a pull up bar, and the dude was on the pull up bar. Right? I'm like. Just don't let it be that nigga. Because <laughs> he was just going, right? I'm like, oh, my. And they like, it's that nigga. We going. We lock up. Boom, boom, boom. I come straight down the pipe. When I throw my right, he threw a hook. The hook kind of like had me together. But my jab landed and it stuck him and it was the end of the fight. And he dropped him. I dropped him. You but dropped then, him? Yeah, I'm going to tell you, the jab dropped him. But I laid in the bed that night. <laughs> Listen. That nigga felt that. And I was crying like, ooh. Just a tear rolled down my eye. <laughs> that nigga had hit me so motherfucking hard. It's almost never, over. You know, I never knew in movies when they made the sound. Psh, I was like, why do they make that the sound? Nigga, that's the sound when it land on your chin. <laughs> for sure, for sure. What was it like growing up in the Bay? Um, Growing up in the Bay, I mean, it ain't no place like the Bay to to me. Y'all, Have y'all been to the Bay before? Oh, you've been to yeah, the Bay for yeah, sure. Yeah, for sure. The Bay, the bay is like, fun. we got our own culture. We got our own style. And uh, I wouldn't want to be from, from, from no other place. I fuck with the Bay Heavy. I fuck with the Bay Heavy. Yeah. For sure, for sure. What part of the Bay you fuck with YG the most? Oh, um, I got a thing for the Bay, you know? Mm-hmm. <laughs> no, I fuck with, you know, I fuck with, I fuck with the whole Bay, you know what I'm saying? San Fran of Oakland, you know what I'm saying? San Jose. I know San Jose ain't the Bay, Sac, all that thing ain't considered mm-hmm. the Bay, but you know what I'm saying? I fuck with the whole Northern California, you know? For sure. Growing up, did you want to be like your dad? Is that what like, nah, made you I, boxing? Nah, my pops was in the streets. 
And um, I didn't. That's one thing I didn't want to do. Like, my brother fell to the streets. My, my pops was in the streets, and I wanted to like break the cycle. I wanted to do something different. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't like they just was like some like ordinary regular Joe blows. They was big in the streets. They was you know what I'm saying. Like most most kids to see them and be like, oh yeah, like that's what I want to do. But I was like, nah. I I was living in Vegas, and I I would watch Floyd. I'm like, I would see him. He'd come in with Bugattis, cars, women, mm. money. All that shit, and I'll be like, "Damn, like that's what I want to be. Like, I want to be him." Like I said, yeah. my pops, I'm like, "Oh yeah, he he ain't doing nothing." Once I seen Floyd, so yeah. um, that's what I set out to do. I wanted to 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 be a great in the sport, and I wanted to have what Floyd had. Mm -hmm. So, you fuck with Floyd? Yeah, I fuck with him. Why well, such a short answer? <laughs> no, I just, I, I just, I, I'm just I'm here to ask the questions no, you answer. You know? I love Floyd. Floyd's a legend. Mm -hmm. In the sport of boxing, is Floyd the best boxer ever? I mean, it's all opinionated, really. Mm -hmm. um, he's one. Of, he's 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 one of the best boxers ever. But me personally, I would say you know Sugar Ray Robinson or like Ali. But it's 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 all opinionated. It's, it depends what you like. I think anything with a statistical base is opinionated. Yeah. Because somebody might have more rebounds, but then he more aggressive. Mm -hmm. Somebody mm -hmm. might punch harder, but then yeah. he has more technique. Yeah. So it's opinionated. I'm sure. Mike Tyson. <laughs> Get it over with. Your blink is over with. Yeah. You know what I mean? And when I watch your fights, I'm like, I, I feel like sometimes you holding back from just knocking the motherfucker yeah. out. You know, and I ain't in the yeah. ring. And no, I'm just sure. here talking out my ass because it's probably a different story inside the ring moving around. Nah, you I'd right. be like, don't hold back, man. Fuck him up. Nah, Strategy. Yeah, exactly. Strategy. Exactly. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, if you a fighter, nigga, you know, like, nigga, you make the wrong move and then your ass is grass, nigga. It's, it's, the, it's the sweet science. And the name of the game is to hit and not get hit. And uh, we seen guys like, you know, I don't knock no no champion uh, ever, but we seen guys like Mike Tyson. We seen him go get motherfuckers, right? Mm -hmm. But we seen him get got too. Right. You seen? I mean, you haven't really seen Floyd go get nobody, right? You haven't really seen Floyd knock nobody out, have you? In the early stages of yeah, Floyd's yeah. career, who, I feel who like. You seen him knock out? Oh, that is true. Yeah, you're right. You got me. <laughs> right. I mean, but I'm so, just saying he was more aggressive in the yeah, early yeah, stages. Well, yeah. I'm talking about you know on the elite oh, level. Floyd. At the elite okay, level, yeah, right. we never really seen Floyd, you know, really knock nobody out. But we ain't seen nobody knock him out neither. Mm -hmm. so we can't say the same about a guy named Mike, like a guy like Mike Tyson. Mm -hmm. So it's just really what you like. But you know, I'm I want to be all time great, and when when it's all said and done, I want to be able to you know be with my family and have have everything together. You know, you don't want to get that. I want to be able to enjoy, I want to be able to enjoy my money, enjoy my life, enjoy my success. I think you're on the right path. You know, 31 and 0. Shit. Yeah, yeah. You know, me personally, I'm two and 24. Yeah, I'm two and 24. And what? Man? And fighting. That nigga said it, man. 24 <laughs> niggas shit. had me figured out. They uh, knew I couldn't fight. Two niggas didn't. They didn't even see it coming. <laughs> oh, them two niggas got it, man. <laughs> two, nigga, nigga yeah, jail, two niggas didn't see it coming. Hell no, I ain't losing no fights in jail. I ain't gonna no, lie. the nigga hit with the jab in jail. That's when he Oh, yeah, that too. was the one. He didn't see it coming. Yeah, yeah. Silly boy. <laughs> like, I ain't gonna lie, I lost like one fight in high school, but everything, and I ain't even like bragging, but everything after that. <laughs> It's been you like, think you nice like that, bro? You know I'm nice. I you is nice. Like, on, I seen man. you. We, but he that's nice. he nice. Let me tell you, we've been in a lot of club fights. It's yeah. the biggest slipper yeah. in. They fall in. Nah, Sometimes your punch, you thought you dropped him, but nah, it, it's nah, liquor nah. on the floor. I've been I don't, in a lot of, I don't been... like club fights because a nigga like it be so much going on. Yeah. Nigga yeah. just come sneak you. You you sneak a nigga. Nigga come niggas come sneak you. Yeah. I don't like club fights. I like one on one, mano to mano. Come, come over here, me and you. Let's lock in. Mm. Oh yeah, I have seen. I had him have some. I seen him have some. I'm just talking yeah, shit to him. Some, yeah, I'm, yeah, he, he get yeah. busy. He ain't gonna like lie. He get, he get busy. Yeah. He get but busy. You know what I'm, I'm saying? not doing his own. You know what I'm saying? But I also fight, seen like... him get his ass whooped. Remember when they jumped you? <laughs> yeah, nigga had to <laughs> yeah. jump me, bro. You know what I'm saying? I've been through all the little, you know what I'm saying, the squabbles and shit. But like niggas used to like feel like they had to jump me. You know what I'm saying? Back in the day, they was throwing chairs and everything at this nigga. Yeah, I'm like you, it was just bad. You like, know what I don't like though, like. People like a regular civilian thing, like, oh, some, some, I don't know, really still, but I didn't heard it's like, oh, boxers can't fight. Like, oh, you a boxer, but I'll whoop you in a street fight or something like that. Like, hell no, you gonna get your hell ass no. <laughs> you gonna get people, whoop. Yeah, I wouldn't yeah. even like, get loud with no boxer. No, but it's niggas out here that think that, like, oh, I'll just grab them. Nigga, you gotta get to me, and I'm gonna hit you so many motherfucking times you before a you even get. Yeah, no, that. Yeah. That's, that's what you need. <laughs> that's what you, I'm not going no <laughs> sir. You're not finna have me all bought up, beating me up in front of my girl. <laughs> no, the homie, like in high school, I, I had a homie and shit. He used to like fake box. Like he was like mm -hmm. doing a boxing, like training classes and shit. 
like that. So me and that nigga, you know what I'm saying, we'll put on the gloves. You know what I'm saying? We'll start boxing and shit, bro. The nigga always got me. The nigga always, I'm talking <laughs> about pretty boy nigga. You know chill, nigga. Oh, chill? Chill, bro. <laughs> used to get it with the gloves. <laughs> But he was going, you know what I'm saying, training, doing the training. training and shit. And I'm like, oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, you can't fuck around with no boxing. What you get in there and spar, um, Devin? Man, like, he can't be doing all the shit. Yeah, you know, I'll, work, I'll work with you. He'll work, work him out. You out sure. No, he'll work your ass out. <laughs> no, I see you got a good relationship with your dad, man. Like, yeah. a lot of people in the inner city usually don't have that connection, like, with their mm -hmm. dad. Like, yeah. how impactful is that in your career? No, nah, I mean, it's, it's, it's very impactful. My dad is the reason why I'm in the position that I am today. And um, it wouldn't feel right if I was, you know, got money and got success and I wasn't here with my with my pops. Like, it wouldn't even feel right. And some people do that. They get the money and then they get to having, you know, disagreements and shit like that. But when we had no money, it was we we we, we, was, we seen eye to eye. But as soon as we get some money, now it's a problem. Nah, we we, we ain't falling out about, about nothing. He, he, he can't fall out with me. I can't fall out with him. I don't care what he talking about. He don't care what I'm talking about. We together. Yeah, that's dope. For real, I love you, and there's nothing you can do about it, type yeah, shit. Yeah, for sure. I mean, that's I dope. feel like I felt you on that when you said people fall out over money and all that, the tangible items but and shit. I won't even say about money. It's just when it start having problems when the money come. Mm -hmm. Like, it may not even just be about no money. It might be just, nigga might have some power now or whatever, whatever, just whatever it is. But it seems like when the money come is when motherfuckers start falling out. Right. When motherfuckers, right. when, when, when two people be, and not even just about parents, like even friends, when two people don't got no money, we see nigga, we, we can work everything out, we can get over every argument, but as soon as the money come, now we falling out. Yeah. It's kind of like clothes. If you got five outfit, outfits, you know exactly what to go get in the closet. Yeah. You got a hundred outfits, you don't know what the fuck to go in there and get. Yeah. So that look at it like that with money. It's like when you got the five, you can put it together. If you got yeah. the hundred, you can't. Treat it like the five outfits, and that's sure. just, it's just that simple. Can you talk about your boxing journey? Like, um, is it a traditional boxing journey, or you just jump yeah. right in? No, nah, um, so when I was when I was sixteen, I was you know training to go to the Olympics. I was fighting overseas and do, and you know preparing for the Olympics. And then they um they changed the age. They bumped it up to like I don't know, like nineteen or something like that. So when the Olympics came, I was gonna be seventeen. Mm. So it was like, all right, well, shit, I can't go to the Olympics, so let's go pro. So I trained for a year, uh, like just, you know, on a pro style, training, sparring, training with pros, and then um, I turned professional. But I was too young to turn professional in, like, California, Vegas. They wouldn't give me a boxing license. Mm. So I went to Mexico. I, I went to Tijuana mm. to fight out there. And um, they told me to go get some experience, and then – uh you know, show that I could fight under the lights and, sh and stuff like that. And then I came back to the States and, and then fought eventually. And then I went back to Mexico. So I had I had a lot of fights in Mexico. To the fans that don't understand what that is, it's like, what does it take to get a boxing license? Um, I mean, it's easy for, you know, somebody of age. You don't really, it don't take much to get a boxing license. But to be to be young, like, they, they, they just, they just don't want to, you know, take on the liability of me getting hurt or whatever the case may be. But it's not hard to get a boxing license for, you know, the average person. I'm going to go get me one. Go ahead. Niggas going to figure me out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting in the gym. It's night, too night, late night, for all interview. that shit, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's too late. Yeah, it's prize picks time. Shout out to prize picks for always rocking with us. And since y'all always rocking with us right now, if you download the prize picks app, they are literally going to give you 100 free dollars. All you have to do is use promo code 400. That $100, they're going to let you use that towards the Devin Haney and Ryan Garcia fight. Listen, Prize Picks is the best out there in fantasy sports. They have everything ranging from basketball to boxing. All you have to do to get your money today is download the Prize Picks app and be sure to use promo code 400. You said you went over there to Mexico. You start beating motherfuckers up, making money. What was the first thing you bought with your, you know, that first big check? Um, I wasn't making money for a long time. I didn't like. I was just trusting in the process. I wanted to. Uh, my pops was like, "Man, let's let's do it on our own. Let's let's, let's start up our own company and let's and let's control our own destiny." Mm -hmm. So, um, I was I was offered like contracts from like Rock Nation. Everybody, you name it, you name it. Everybody offered me a contract. And when I was young, I was like, "Man." Oh man, I think I'm gonna do this. Like, you know, if you fucked up, you ain't got no money. You were like, man, <laughs> listen, I see these, I see these contracts. I see my peers, kids that I grew up with making money, and um, I'm like, man, I, th I think I, I think I want to just sign. My pops was like, man, just trust me, just trust the process, trust the process. So then, it was um, 
2019, I want to say, I signed to um, a major company, and uh, that's when I started making money for real. And uh, the first first thing I bought was a Maybach. Hello. Maybach. Maybach boys. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I got a yes, TV sir. one. Yes, sir. They that they that like a plane in that motherfucker. I sit in the back yeah. of one. I almost stole it. I just got a new Maybach today. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I got that's the Virgil. Funny. Okay. Yeah. Oh. The Virgil one? The yeah, one. Big Virgil. dog. Oh, yeah, that's the one. But I was, oh, the, I mean, it's like that 10, shit with, the like 10 600, one? 900? Man. Oh, like one point something? No, 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 no. No, no. It's still. You got to pull up, you got to pull up. I'll holler at you after about that. For sure. Hey, what is it like to be in the history books for like being so young and undisputed? Yeah, um, it ain't really not even no time to like really just even focus on, you know, what I, what I accomplished. I'm just trying to, you know, accomplish as much as I can and just focus on on the future and not really just, you know, sit in, sit in it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I want to just keep going and keep pushing myself and keep setting new goals and keep pushing that, 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 that finish line further and further and further. You want to fight everybody? Yeah, of course. I mean, I want to fight the best fighters in the world, but I want to make the most, as much money as I can too. So, you know, I can't fight everybody, even, even, if, even if I wanted to. At the end of the day, you know, I gotta do what makes sense, and uh, I'm a, you know, I, uh, I'm a, I'm a fighter. that fight for legacy, but I'm also a prize fighter, mm -hmm. so I want to fight for the biggest prize too. You yeah. should be paid for your work. It's hard got work. Got to, got to, and you know, I, 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 I did the undisputed. I got the belts. I did all that, but at the end of the day. I want to make that money too. <laughs> yeah, for real. Sure. Nigga need that check. Need Nigga that chili playing. for real. How heavy is that motherfucking belt? I never held one. Get it. Grab it. Uh-huh. Nigga, you just can't be grabbing niggas' belts, nigga. <laughs> Listen. Oh, yeah, this motherfucker. Oh. That motherfucker is. Yeah. yeah this I got to edit a picture with that on my forehead. Yeah. Oh, that's actually a good thing, though, man. Do they charge y'all to have those belts? Yeah, we got to pay sanctioning fees. How much do they charge y'all to have the belts? 3%, whatever we make. Oh, on oh, that fight shit. or overall? If I'm, fighting for, if I'm fighting for this belt right here, they're going to charge 3% mm. of... Of what I'm making, but if I don't got it, then I don't gotta pay for it. But if you if you a champion, you gotta pay three percent. So it's three percent every fight that every you fight. keep the belt. Every fight. Oh, shit. You motherfuckers greedy over there. Yeah. That makes entirely <laughs> no sense that I'm the champion. Nigga, all money I won. in, nigga. But sometimes <laughs> sometimes it be four belts. Mm -hmm. It be four belts, and they all they all want their three percent. Mm, 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 mm. But this also make your money go up too. So it's right. like ah, yeah, yeah. You know what it's saying? good leverage that we walk and, around. And you in the history books forever. It's it's, it's it's part of boxing at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? It's what separate the 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 good fighters from the great fighters. I always say that like anything that you in, if there's a trophy for it or a war for it, like I want that. Yeah. Like yeah. I don't want an award for I don't want a participation award. Yeah, exactly. I want the one for winning. Yeah, no, nah, I mean and that wanna, I I pay three percent. You want to sure. be known as as the best and whatever you do in, in boxing, this is what you know proves that you're the best. Yeah, see, and that's what I'm on right now. I feel like niggas <laughs> got me fucked up because I ain't got no trophies. Like with this rap shit. You got plaques. Well, yeah, the plaques, but I'm talking about like, oh, like what, the Grammy BT or Award, Grammy, Grammy Award, yeah. like all the regular shit that come with the rap shit. Like I was supposed to, like I had my moments, you know what I'm saying, where I was supposed to get <laughs> my shit. But you know, like whatever was going on at the time was going on. But like I'm finna come for everything I left on the table. On That's the why game. I like to hear right there. But with boxing, it's game. different because like you can't, it's, it's not like, oh, who's popular or who's, like this go off your skills. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? With the Grammys, it go off like yeah, it's politics and, like and yeah, politics yeah. and all that. This go off this rank, a ranking system and mm -hmm. and you gotta win. So yeah. that's that that's what's different. That's what's different about it. I keep telling him the year that the, all the years you was nominated, you had BET, you had everything. Beyonce had drunken love out. One being no drunken love at that time. No. Nah, Even though you had you deserve some awards, but it's just Beyonce and it was drunken love. No, nah, it wasn't even drunk Beyonce. Love. It was some other shit going on. I had found out what was going on and What'd shit. What they do? No, nah, I don't even want to make niggas look crazy and shit. <laughs> it was being well, popular. well, fuck it. You know, make what? them look crazy. I'm gonna make niggas look crazy. No, nah, I'm playing. <laughs> <laughs> but it was some like it was some, you know what I'm saying? I was young in the game. You know, when I dropped my first album, I was like 20. My first album that was the uh classic album, I was 24 and shit. So it was a lot of shit. I didn't know, you know, so like nigga was like low key green in like some situations, but um, we was trying to figure it out, but you know, um, it was other shit going on that was put like as a pri uh, priority over my shit. So um, yeah, it's fucked up. 
<laughs> is it politics like that in boxing <laughs> where motherfuckers can yeah. pick and choose and control shit? Yeah, I mean, it's like the last two years I was nominated nominated for fighter of the year. Uh-huh. But I didn't get it, but it is what it is. It's it's, it's a pain. Yeah, that niggas still it. him. You yeah, know what I'm saying? For sure. Exactly. But, yeah, sure. I niggas mean, do got the belts. Niggas do got the plaques. That don't even like you know determine how how great I am. I mean, it's opinionated. They got their opinion, and it is what it is. You can't say you can't tell me I'm not great. You can't tell me I'm not who I think I am. So it is what it I is. I think you're great. And I seen something. My I had seen something on the internet. My boy Ace, you know Ace Junior, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, I seen you had caught this son at his first win. Ah, uh, uh, yeah, that was yeah, so that's dope to boy, see you yeah. call Chase. Yeah. I was like, damn. And then Chase was so amazed, like, oh my God, is this yeah, real? Yeah. So I think it's dope too that not only are you a champion, you got all the money, but you can still reach back to the youth and keep that that inspiration to make them want to box because we're getting into a space where kids don't even like to go outside no more. Yeah. So for you to do that, shout out to you, big. Thank I, you, I, thank that's you. dope. I really appreciate that's that. That's what it's about at the end of the day. I mean, because I remember me being a young kid and going in the gym and watching Floyd mm-hmm. and him just saying what's up to me, and I'd be getting happy. Like, I'd be happy, or him, you know, just act, asking me, oh, how many fights I got, or just, you know, just little, mm-hmm. sm- little, you know, saying anything to me, and me just make it, making my whole day, making my whole week. And I still remember it to this day. So and whenever, whenever I could do something like that, you know, I try to. What do you feel about people saying you duck and tank? Him, you know, I never heard that before. <laughs> Shit, I heard it all the time. They say, they say he, he ducking me. I don't want to make the interview about tank, because it's about no, you. No, no, you know, no, but, for sure. But I got to ask you this question, like, Honestly, you got to know that people say you dunk a tank. That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. You know how, like, you like you hear something about yourself, and you'd be like, damn, they saying that shit for real? I didn't know that they'd be saying that because that's, that's crazy. You got to fight yeah. Tank at the Ryan once you knock him out. But is Tank going to fight me? We just had we just had a dude named Turkey Alashik. He's, he's an excellency in uh, Saudi Arabia, mm-hmm. and he, he giving out so Putting much. Chili he, I mean, he making the biggest fights happen. Mm-hmm. Tank told him he got to send him two Ferraris before he could even talk to him. <laughs> hey, I ain't gonna lie, I'll be doing shit like that too. <laughs> yeah, he, <laughs> see, that, I need the Bugatti. Hey, and they gonna hey, send you know it over. He, they gonna he, send it over. You know what he told him? I ain't hear it. I ain't never heard that. That's why I was kind of like, damn. You know what man. he told him? Uh-huh. He said, "I see you two boxing gloves." Oh, oh shit. shit, he flexed on him. <laughs> that, nigga, that nigga flexed on him. Do you think it affects your legacy if y'all don't fight? Nah. Um, Nah, at the end of the day, Tank, what? How old is Tank? He's like 30 or something like that? I'm I'm 25. I got a long career ahead of me. Um, is is that the biggest fight in boxing today? Is that what the, what the culture want to see right now? Mm-hmm. Of course. Like that's it's huge. We make a ton of money. Yeah. But at the end of the day, would you sign up. would you sign for that fight with a rehydration clause? Hell no. <laughs> How <laughs> you feel about no. the rehydration clause? I don't think that's real. That's not real boxing. Like when who you heard who you heard that that right. did that? That was the first time I, I'm, you know. Yeah, I mean that's not that's not that's not a real thing. That ain't, that's that's some just some made up bullshit. Like, um, I, I don't want no rehydration clause on me neither. I'm not doing no re- rehydration clause. At the end of the day, we we make weight and then we fight at whatever whatever you come in at. Do it give a motherfucker like leverage back to have that? Does it give another fighter leverage if the other fighter does? It depends. It depends. It depends on. It depends on who the person is. I don't know. I don't really even. That's some bullshit. I got a question. Like when y'all, <clears throat> like, like we be watching this boxing shit, we be fans and shit, we be seeing like clips and shit. Niggas be like going back and forth sometimes, arguing, niggas be talking shit. Like, do that should be real? <laughs> yeah, <hell laughs> yeah. Yeah, that should be real. Yeah. Nah, that should be real. That shit, it ain't, it ain't staged or nothing. It be real. Like real smoke? Not I like say, smoke, I would like. Say, no, I wouldn't say real smoke because we 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 see each other and it don't be nothing, except for one time though I did see this shit and my boy Caleb Plant could vouch for this. We seen we this, oh, we, this guy here. We 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 seen some smoke. We seen him, and and I fuck with Charlo too. This is my boy too. So oh, you know, I, I know what you talking about. Yeah, yeah. talk about yeah. it. Nah, we ain't gotta talk about. It. We all seen the shit. We seen the shit. Hey, so they got a fight. Like, so so we they got a fight. Boxers, us, <laughs> yeah, they got a fight. No, they do got a fight. I, I, that's a fight. Oh, they got a fight. That's they a fight. fight. They got a fight. That's a fight. That's a fight. Uh, that. Say, yeah, we got a fight. Oh, yeah. Oh, that was bro. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, they got a fight. <laughs> <laughs> you can char- Hey, Char, you got a fight. Hey. Nah, this is I nah. see that shit. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that's a fight that, that definitely got to happen because um, it's good for boxing. 
and they got the story behind it. Mm-hmm. But back to what I was saying about, you know, us fighters, we see each other all the time, and it's, nothing never happened. We we see each other, and never, nothing, nothing ever go on, so it can't be no real smoke. Yeah, like, I brought it up because it's like, like, I look at that shit like basketball. Like, I be seeing, like, you know what I'm saying? I'm basketball, of course. <clears throat> Nigga be watching niggas hoop and shit. And when niggas be on the court, niggas be like, niggas up. Yeah. But then off the court, you know what I'm saying? Niggas be like hanging out in bros and shit. Yeah. So, you know what I'm saying? I was just wondering if, if the shit was the same for the most part. Like, yeah. I know niggas be having a real little, yeah. little I, shit I on the side. I never really heard too much of no boxers doing that to each other besides... Mm. That, that situation. That, that <laughs> Would you get fined at a face off if you like slapped somebody? Yeah, nah. What's the name? So I um I was fighting Loma Lomachenko and uh we we did the weigh in and I pushed him. And when I pushed him, they fined me four hundred thousand. I knew that I said that gotta be a fine. Why? I knew it Nigga, I, I said it had to be a fine because I'm like, he all in your face calling you all these names and you ain't slapped him yet. So I'm like, it must be a fine behind that. Oh, oh I see what you're saying. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, it must yeah. be a fine behind yeah, that. Yeah, they fined me 400000 for but, it. But you feel me? Don't that shit, like, hype the fight up? Yeah, and, and that's what I said. And, and that's what I said. Yeah. I said, come on, now I'm bringing more pay-per-view buys to this shit, and y'all finding me. But it's the commission. It wasn't the the the, the people that was receiving the money. It's the commission. It's like it's like the NFL. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? It's like, yeah. but the NFL make the money, too. But it's like they, like, the corporate part, that's like, nah, we don't need that. We can't be doing that. Yeah. Now you've been tight with Floyd for a long time. I know he gave you a bunch of pointers, you know, charged you a bunch of shit. And um, then you looked up and you seen him jogging with Ryan. And do you think he Floyd giving Ryan pointers too? I mean, with the shit he been doing lately, I don't think Floyd would be giving him the them pointers. But if he is, it, it, it won't help him. I know you don't have no facts to back this, but you think like Ryan like on coke and stuff like that? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you ask good questions. <laughs> Um, what you think? You think he on some? I feel like I, me personally. Y'all look crazy. I remember when Oscar. Um, I, I listen. Uh, this is all. <laughs> this is all documented. I'm not here making up. Listen, Oscar. Oscar is a good. Oscar is a great guy. Oscar great fighter. This. We're not gonna bring Oscar into. into no, this. I love Oscar. We never see Oscar do no coke. We never see Oscar Ryan do had no them coke. heels on. Hey, look. I just want to know. I didn't see him with no heels on. I didn't Google see it. I'm not googling that on, the, <laughs> not on my phone. Fuck <laughs> Oscar, man. I'm just talking shit, but. No. You don't got no facts to base, but do you think that he's on something? Nah, because he getting drug tested, so I ain't gonna put that on him. Do you think he, he drunk when he got those appearances that you Yeah, had? yeah, I did smell liquor on his breath. Beer or, or like hard tequila? Nah, he was on that beer. That beer, that beer make you stank like a wine. Yeah, you know how you smell it? Yeah, like at first wino. I was like, I smelled it, I'm like, I smell like Listerine a little bit. Then I smelled it again, I said, oh no, that nigga off that beer. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that was real when y'all bumped each other at um, Super Bowl, or that was like some... No, nah, that was real. As as a fan, how do we distinguish when y'all promo in the fight it's not, and when it's, it's real? I don't know. Because <laughs> <don't laughs> sometimes I'll be like, oh, man, these niggas want me to pay that hundred dollars. <laughs> nah. Somebody better get fucked up. Hey, look, I want everybody to know I don't be having nothing to do with these questions. <laughs> <laughs> I come in here and I sit nah, out he, just listen, like he everybody not even else. Looking down, he coming up with these questions off no, his brain. I, I, He's I, on his I, brain. Look, listen, I'm, I'm a really I'm a boxing fan. I mean, I'll, I'll pay so attention. So who you to like? Who, you, who the fighters you like? At what weight? Oh, you like Tank. <laughs> no, I'm you, not just a Tank fan. You're not going to just do that to me. Yes, I enjoy watching Tank fight. Yes. And look, the Tank is, the niggas is busters. The only thing you think that they're, I'm going to chase them niggas to the end of time. You're going to give me fire. Give him a mic. Hey, listen. No, I ain't got to give him a mic. I'm going to tell you, you're going to give me fire because the niggas is busting. I'm going to chase them since the end of time. They don't want none of them in the dream hanging. What is it going to take for the fight to happen? What you What's want gonna me to do? What is it going to take for the fight? Mean? Listen, we had Turkey on the shit, get a bunch of niggas. If no money, if, if no money could make it happen, what could make it happen? The nigga must not want to. It's not fight. about the money. Yeah, I said if no money can make it happen, we just had a nigga that just that want to put all the money up. That Floyd Mayweather shit over with Tank and all the rest. of it. It's him. You see him over there looking good. Oh, one thing I, I know right here. This right. One thing I know right here. Look, one thing I know. <laughs> I guess what? This thirty one and zero. Fifteen knockout. This 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 nigga. He undisputed. I want to see him fight. I want to see them fight. Well, we tried to give Tank 20 million, he didn't take it. You know, yeah, I mean, See, I don't know all the numbers in the back end. See, so you, you got to understand. Know, you got to know this shit when you start speaking on it. No, I'm you speaking on it as a boxing fan. Tell me a boxing fan don't want to see Devin Haney fight Javante Davis. Tell me a boxing fan don't want to see that. No, for sure. You know, all right, that's boxing but we, fan. But, but, but we can't force the man in the ring, though. Yeah, but I got to bring it know, up because know, I want to see the fight. We know the biggest fight in boxing. And mm-hmm. if you know boxing, you know me and you know I'll fight anybody. Right. And so... 
especially when that money right. So if the, we got the nigga with the money right here that want to put the money up and more than twenty million, that we we offered him twenty million on our end, just mm-hmm. and then we had Turkey come with, he that, coming with whatever you want, whatever you want. Listen, you 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 name you you name it, and he say he and say he say something about send me two Ferraris or some shit to even talk and da da da. Man, read That's between the lines. Read right between there. the lines. No, but I just got to put that out there as a boxing fan. I want to see the fight. I respect Ryan because he take the fight. Win, lose, draw. That's only that's my respect for Ryan. Mm-hmm. Take the fight. That's what boxing is about. That's why boxing sometimes dries out because people are so worried about keeping up with Floyd's record. That's Floyd, brother. A man losing a fight. That's we gotta get that in the streets as well. That, I'm glad we brought this up because in the streets as well, if you lose a fight as a man in the street, you only become a bitch when you don't come back. Yeah. You lose the fight, you come back, you feel like you got did too bad, you fight again. So what if you don't want to fight? You if you feel like he did you too bad, you come back and you fight no, again. No, what if you don't want to fight in general? What then you a bitch, you? get up out of here. Okay then. That's the bottom line. <laughs> that streets are boxing. If you don't want to fight, because this we fighting, and you keep running and ducking so from the he fight. Gotta be, he gotta be a bitch then. I'm not calling him that. No, I said that's the rules. If, if, if that's the rules, if we follow the rules, then you gotta be a bitch. I, I didn't call him that. No, I you ain't saying I'm saying it. <laughs> when I look back on time, man, you done beat so many motherfuckers <laughs> up. I don't be knowing like how you feel about um Tio? How you feel about Tio? Man, all these dudes is the same to me for real. Mm-hmm. At the end of the day, um, they just they just another fight, each one of them. They just another name on a resume. So whoever it is, it don't matter. Like I said, if it makes sense, I'll fight anybody. Ryan just had you on a t-shirt with Diddy in the pool. What the fuck? <laughs> you don't knock this nigga out, man. Yeah. Um, How you feel about that? What can you say? <laughs> and it's unfortunate <laughs> events with listen, all that's going on. We won't dig into that. But to do you like listen, that at did, a time did, like this. Diddy, Diddy had a bunch of hoes at his house. <laughs> I, I made my way to the house and shit. What the fuck? Diddy yeah, was, I think that's the part of the story he's leaving listen, out. It's hoes at Diddy house. Man, it's hoes everywhere. And we know that Diddy got some parties or whatever. They got, he had the t-shirt it, it, on. He was like this. Yeah. Listen. Man, that's gonna be a good fight. It's you gonna to, be a hell of a you, fight. You've been, you been, you been in one of Diddy's parties before? Definitely. Diddy? Okay, and was a bunch of hoes there? Always hoes. Okay, all right. It's just, it was, I ain't gonna say. It's a lot of bitches. <laughs> it's a lot of bitches. You know what I'm saying? I'll be in there, you know what I'm saying? With the bitches and all that. Exactly. You know? <laughs> you know? <laughs> I'm doing good right now, y'all. I'm telling you, I'm doing good. Hey, um, <laughs> you think Ryan is really mentally prepared for this fight? I don't know. That ain't for me to really determine at the end of the day. I'm going to go in there and do my job, prepare the best way I know how to, and um, put my all in the training camp. And whatever Ryan shows up, that's what, well, that's what we're going to be prepared for. But mm-hmm. I, it ain't my focus My focus to really, you know, think too hard on if he's going to be ready or whatever because t- that take away from me. I'm focused on me, and I'm be ready for whatever Ryan shows up. See, that's how people supposed to talk, man. You know if be talking about looking past fighters or mm-hmm. talking about other shit, be like, no. Focus on yourself. Yeah. Do you, do, before you have a fight, what's the gap that you have where you ain't having no, you ain't getting no pussy? Like, what's the gap? Hey, that's what I was going to ask, because I be hearing, like, niggas got to be like. Yeah, I mean, to each his own. Everybody, like, you got to just learn, like, what what worked for you. And I just come mm-hmm. with experience. So what may work for me may not work for somebody else. So you fucking before I fight. can't go too My long. Nigga that nut take, no, I just be taking can't. that testosterone out or something. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah but if, yeah, if that you. That should make if, me weak, for sure. <laughs> If you go too long too, it it it'll it'll work. You know, it, it got to release. Mm-hmm. It, it got it got to come out regardless. So you have a wet dream or whatever the case may be. So you got to just you know find that sweet spot for how long to gap it away. So what's I the like, longest you want with no pussy before a fight? I want, I want eight weeks before. Give him a cherry bomb right now. Give him a cherry bomb right now. But I also right I also went seven weeks. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know what I'm saying? Tell him what the cherry bomb do, YG. I mean, you know, like when you want to go do the extra out shit and be extra out one night and just go crazy, you know what I'm saying? See, me, I got a lot of testosterone built up. You know, I do a lot of working out, lifting weights, eating healthy vitamins. So my, you know, yeah. you, know you know what that means. Hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? I got the gym right there. I'll be on that same shit. Yeah, for sure. Same shit. Hey, but like I done heard niggas talk about niggas and went six months without no pussy. I'm like, no, bro, I don't believe that. That ain't, no, hell yeah, no. You know what I'm saying? That's what I say. Niggas be like, nah, you feel me? They can't be like fucking for six months. Like, man, we're gloves at. He be saying that shit and shit, my security guard and shit. Gloves be fucking, man. No, he, he was six- telling me, like he was just telling me like, like he thought, you know what I'm saying? That niggas had to like wait six months to fuck, like when they training for a fight. 
And I just you never believed it. You don't even know you're fighting for six months. Like, you don't know, you you know, don't even know that far apart that you fight, that, that far from then that you're fighting. You're going to have two, three fights before then. Yeah. But like I said, you just got to find out what worked for you. I know that the only person that I ever known in life to be able to tell the future was Miss Cleo. But she's long gone. The feds got her. And you can't predict the future as well. But can you tell me how you feel like, how you think this fight going to turn out? What round? What can I expect? Prize picks. I want to make a bet. I mean, I think it's going to be a mismatch. I think, you know, the world going to see that I'm just on a totally different level than um, a guy like Ryan Garcia. And he don't belong in the, in the ring with me. So I can't say exactly, you know, how the fight will end. Um, I know I'm going to be victorious. I know, you know, it won't be close, however it happens. Um, but we just got to see. You know, I'm putting it in Allah's hands and uh, let him take care of it. When did you um? When did you turn? Is is that like something you were, your family? That's like Islam mm-hmm. is like something in your family that you into. Yeah, no, I mean my whole family Muslim now, mm-hmm. but I wasn't I wasn't born Muslim, but I never been like baptized or nothing like that. So, you know, I would say like I really wasn't. I didn't. But you took I was your no salada. religion. Yeah, you took but I took my I took my shahada. Yeah. Um. Probably like three years ago, and um, yeah. Um, are you walking out with artists? Um, yeah. But I don't want to say though. I don't want to say. Wanna give us a hint? We, I'm gonna tell you. Uh, well, if you don't, I'm gonna tell you off. I'm gonna tell you off. No, no, give me a hint. No, nah, I can't give you a hint because you. <laughs> All right, then tell me off the whip. <laughs> hey, when it comes to choosing the locations for the fight. Oh, you. I just happened? you went to the weigh-in with uh Ryan. I didn't even think I about did that. Go. Yeah, I seen that on YouTube. You said went in with who? With. Uh, when, when Ryan was oh, fighting Tank, he went to the weigh in with. Oh, yeah, Ryan, homie. But I fuck with Ryan. Yeah, look, <clears throat> man, I'm a California motherfucker. I, like, if you from Cali, like, nigga, I'm fucking with you. You know what I'm saying? But um, um, for that fight, who I'm going for, I'll let y'all know when I place the bet. For sure. For sure. But you niggas already know what time it is. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. No yes, question. Sir. <laughs> hey, but look, um, like, when it comes down to picking a fight, like the locations and shit. Yeah. How that shit work? I mean Because y'all fighters in New York or something. New York, yeah. Barclay. Yeah, so um we were supposed to fight in Vegas. Yeah, that's what I was like. Yeah. See, my plan was to <coughs> do Coachella mm-hmm. and then slide to Vegas. But but right New York like a box, a boxing maker, you know? That? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. you know, I know, but New York I'm big. talking about my plans. <laughs> nigga, I'm gonna be at Coachella, nigga, turned up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But yeah, yeah. yeah. So um, Vegas, we was supposed to be in Vegas, but um, <clears throat> Canelo fighting two weeks after us, and he, they had already they had already reserved it. Okay. So um, the next best place that made the most sense was uh, New York. Man, the New media York capital of the world is gonna be it's there. gonna it's yeah. gonna be crazy. It's gonna be nice. Yeah, it's gonna be crazy. It's gonna yeah. be crazy. Now yeah, I'm make that one. on the four hundred podcast, we do have a reoccurring segment show that we like to call more or less. That's sponsored by, of course, Prize Picks. Well, I ask you questions and you tell me more or less, right? So, if, for example, I say reality TV shows, and then you say we need more reality TV okay. shows or less reality mm-hmm. TV shows. Mm-hmm. And if I feel like you need to explain it, or if you on your own feel like you need to explain it, please feel free. I'm not gonna hold you back. You fuck with that? All right. So, more or less celebrity boxing. What if we just keep it right there? Like, you can't keep it right there. Like, the not more or less. Just like. So you don't want to see name no more Nate Robinson type shit going on. Yeah, I mean, no, I think it's good for boxing at the end of the day because, you know, it brings more eyeballs and different eyeballs mm-hmm. to, to the sport of boxing. But, you know, we don't need too much of that shit, too, because yeah. it take away from it, – it can, you know, take away from boxing where motherfuckers mm-hmm. don't take boxing serious. So, I mean, I think it's cool at where it's at right now. You feel the type of way? I, I Like, honestly, like, I don't want to see one of my heroes getting knocked out. <laughs> So I would say less, because <laughs> niggas be going up in there getting fucked yeah, up. Fuck Jake Paul, fuck around. Jake Paul, <laughs> fuck around like, and land something on your ass. You know what I'm saying, man? Nah, man. I be hating that shit. More or less um, calling out boxers. What you mean? When niggas just get on camera and got nothing to do with nothing. I want to fight. I mean, fights have been made like that, but some niggas just do it like just to be, you know, just for clout, just to, you know what I'm saying, mm-hmm. be relevant. So I say less, because more fights happen behind closed doors. And when you know, if you, if you really want to fight, you know the people to contact. If you want to make a fight happen, you don't gotta go out there and go go to the internet or whatever. If you really want to make a fight happen, mm-hmm. so less. Yeah, we all got phones and emails. You ain't gotta yeah, be doing exactly. all that. Exactly. We all got managers. We all got you know people to contact to promoters to make a big fight happen. I'm telling you right now, Raji's gonna say more because he want that. He want that. She like that smoke. Like that beef. Uh, yeah, man, I'm kind of fucked up. 
when it comes to that type of shit. You don't <laughs> like when they call out the boxes out? Like, what you talking about? Boxes or rappers? Bo- whatever one you want to talk about. I mean, like for the boxing, it's a, like it's a certain way you do it. You know what I'm saying? Because it's a sport and it's a, you know what I'm yeah. saying? It's, it's business. But I feel like um, when niggas be like, like having rap, smoke, and beef and all that, and like niggas really, you know what I'm saying? If y'all really got an issue like the streets, nigga go handle y'all business and get out the way. You know? So you want more or less? I'm with all that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kind of too old for that type of shit, yeah. I'm. I mean, I'm not too old like to squabble, but like <laughs> as far as having that type of mentality, mm-hmm. like kind of too old, but you know a nigga fried kind of. Bro. Yeah, yeah. We, our mind gone. Y'all know yeah, mind saying. gone, bro. <laughs> Um, do you want more or less at um clapping back at the haters? Nah, because I say more because um sometimes my fucking uh, hater gotta be checked. They just because they they just be getting too crazy. And sometimes they just be too involved in like your personal life and what you got going on. So I say more. Mm-hmm. People just be sitting on in, on on a keyboard just saying whatever, saying whatever. and they on a situation don't even be. So I say more. And like. I really honestly feel like motherfuckers be saying whatever just so niggas could see they shit. Yeah. And it's like, you probably really don't feel like that, yeah. but you trying to get no, your you little comment. you respond to me and say, oh, I'm a fan. Exactly. You know, it's like, bro, you, you do it, like, yeah. all that for that? That's crazy. Maybe you want to respond. And sometimes the negative get more response. You don't response deserve a response. Get. No, but the negative always going to get more. How you like, nigga, you got me fucked up. Yeah. Mm. You want more or less of tatting your significant other. Less. Yes, for sure. <laughs> you want more or less of tatting your significant other? <laughs> you got a tattoo or something? Uh, you got a tattoo? No. Nah, I mean, do I got tattoos? Of a, of a female? No. More or less of tatting a, your significant other? Hey, man, do what you feel, you uh, know? So more or less? You want more or less? Oh, more of people doing it or less of people doing it? Oh, <laughs> hey, man, you know? Where you got your shit tatted at? Like I had, like I got... Shit, you got I got covered up shit. I got shit. Right oh, I got some that. shit covered up. That's why I say less. Oh, yeah, so you I got, got it covered got up, but you got it. Got it's still on your skin. Covered. Who? Nah, you can't see that shit. I can't see that it's shit. It's on your body. God know. God, well, God know a lot. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm, man. I'm more. Tap I'm my more name. too. Put love in the air. Yeah, tap man. Head. I'm more. Tap my name on you so I know it's real. Tap it on your you, face, you on your too? neck. <laughs> Huh? You tap her name too? Hey, watch out there, man. So let's there. I want more. I don't. I don't. I got I'm some gonna shit tap here. my bitch name when I'm in love. I, I, boy, my bitch on me. I'm gonna go no cover question. that motherfucker up. As soon as we done. <laughs> <laughs> my bitch on me after the nut. No question. <laughs> hey, so what's the what's what's the grace period between you you covering it up? Like, I don't get. It? I ain't covering it up. I gotta up. see that you like. It's like, oh, you moved on, bitch. All right, bet. No, you, you my bitch forever. Oh shit. We ain't move. Ain't no moving on. It's a part of my life. My art on my body is a part of my life. So I feel like that was a stage in my life. That you existed, unfortunately, you ain't a part of it. No, because I might have too on, many more they... stages. I might have to cover that shit up or something. Man, else. I got so much shit you ain't even know I got the bitch. See, I can like, like I don't really got no more room for that. Mm. You know what I'm so I might, I gotta cover my shit up. But they, they move on, but they really don't. Move. They never oh, move know. on, you know? especially if you was that guy. Yeah. Exactly. They Spec- move on because they trying to so prove something. Be, especially you fucking So you saying the they move on because they want to make you look? So you saying they move on because they want to try to make you look like, look, I can move whatever, on. Whatever their reason is, but they always, they always come back. They always be in the wind whenever you want them. You ever get married? Huh? Did you ever get married? <laughs> yeah, of course. Dizzle, you do the one knee? Yup. On me when I'm ready. Ain't no question. Man, that was fun playing more or less. Sponsored by prize picks, of course. More or less is a great game. You did good. You, you actually know how to answer questions. You know, I'm, you understand me? Um. The last question I really have for you. Oh shit! I thought it was. I thought it was over. This last question must be. I gotta look at this. The reason I want to look at this is because I want to word it right, and I want to how you how to twist you up. You've been in a lot of public relationships. Oh, see, I knew it was some bullshit. I knew it was right. some bullshit. Damn! Let me ask no. the question. No, man, in that shit. You've been in a lot of public relationships. What is your best favorite relationship you've been in, and your least? Favorite relationship you've been in? It's, I'm in a relationship right now. She'd kill me if I even speak on any Respect, past relationship. So let's just keep this going. And um, I enjoyed the podcast with y'all. I had a great time. Hey, no question, man. I appreciate you for stopping by the Red Couch. Is there anything else that you have to say to your fans or anything like that? Tune in April 20th. Go get your tickets now. If you haven't got them, uh, it's going to be fireworks. April 20th, round five. That's Knockout. the smoke day. That's the uh, smoke. Smoke is in the air. Yeah. Hey, 420. Yeah. Knockout. Round five. I'm calling it. 
place yet. What you call it? You good looking for pulling up. Thank y'all for watching. 400 Podcast. 400.